people you fancy, huh? <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm doing my Instagram. <laughs> Guys, I'm about to use this. I have to put this makeup on every day. It makes it quicker if I can see it. Today we're checking out the chef's assembly hall. I was checking out the photos online. Basically what it is, is Canada's first chef driven market, apparently, according to their website. 12 of the top chefs in Toronto have lined up different booths with their foods from all over the world in one place. And it's a really cool venue with good food, art, um, even music, sometimes there's live DJ. So it seems like a great place to check out and something really cool to show you guys. Um, what made me wanna try it even more is Melissa, she's one of the chefs for a ramen shop there, reached out to me and she was like, hey, I, wanna, I wanted to introduce you to this cool concept here in Toronto. Maybe you can come check it out and I can show you guys around. So we're leaving now, we're gonna arrive there around three so you won't see it at its busiest moment we're gonna avoid all that so that it's easier to film so you can hear us because i don't really have my good microphone but um i haven't eaten lunch yet i just had a banana for breakfast i've reserved this whole thing for a lot of different foods there so let's go what are you most excited to try babe lime man maybe the ramen mm. not the lobster roll i want to try if it's authentic or not I'm most excited for the rainbow coffee I saw. That looks really cool. I've never had that before. And one of the vegan places. There's a bowl with a lot of veggies. That looks really yummy. It's actually in the Google building where the Google offices are. And it, that's in the financial district of Toronto. So a lot, a lot of people go there for lunch. She's gonna give us all the insider info on what to eat. How long have you worked here for? I have worked here since February. So oh. the hall opened in December? December. Yeah. Bulldog coffee. Bulldog coffee. Yeah, so Stuart, the, um, the owner, he's like Toronto's wow. champion barista. He's really, really good. Oh, wow. I saw that rainbow coffee online, oh, and yeah. I definitely want to try that. Yeah. <laughs> Famous for their meat. Yeah. I am not much of a meat eater myself, but I have tried their potato salad and it is phenomenal. Ah. Yes. And then Calibri, they do tacos. Oh yeah. Like handmade, right? Like they press yeah. the flour tortillas themselves, I read. Yes. And I see a lot of people have um, like awards here. Yes. It's like a lot of top chefs here. Yes. Wow. If you like go online, you can find information about all the chefs that own all the stalls here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a reason everyone is here. Oh, you can't just decide to book a spot here. You actually have to have some sort of status in Toronto. Oh, you have to earn the booth. Yeah. Ooh. Amazing pizza. Best in Toronto. I'm not biased. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, I heard about this fried chicken place, actually. Yeah, chicks. If you guys like chicken, you can't go wrong with them. This one? Yeah, their sauce is amazing. Chicks. Anna, what are you making there? Sandwich? Sandwiches, yeah. Ooh. Cow Sun Road is Thai restaurant in Toronto. This one is Little Cow, so it's like the smaller version. Uh huh. This one in particular I thought would really interest you because they're very health conscious. Falafel. Yeah, that definitely looks like something I would want to try. Ooh. 
the kimchi chicken is a crowd favorite at my work. Philo is probably owned arguably by the most famous chef in the hall. His oh. name's Nick. Um, they just have really, really good food. He does a lot of fusion stuff. Fusion. Um, I think the Bao Burger is one of their more famous ones. And my booth. Yeah, yeah. We're quite popular in Toronto actually because we're one of the places that have really good vegetarian ramen. Oh, so this is like the classic mm. tonkotsu ramen, but this is like our original. These are what made us famous. Oh. So uh, the spicy red miso or the regular one. Reina, have you heard of Reina, Taylor? Reina, no. Reina. So it's like Mediterranean inspired cuisine. Mm -hmm. It's another one of the more health conscious. Everybody knows Bobby Flay, but Ivana is the head chef of this one and she's just phenomenal. Her burger, best in Toronto, it actually won the award. Wow. Yeah. Truffle gnocchi? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is one that I wanted to save for the end because I knew you'd be interested in it. This is their 42 ingredients. Okay, batch. that's what I want yeah. today. <laughs> and the last one here is Tachi. Tachi. Stand up on my passe. It looks like they have a session right now, so it's a little closed off, but um, Oh, so it starts at a certain time and you go in that room yes. and you stand and they serve you. Yes, oh. it takes 30 minutes. It's $55 for uh, like one person uh -huh. and um, you're in and out within 30 minutes. So it's perfect for the office crowd. Oh, and they use really cool. good quality uh, fish and the chefs are trained by Shoshin, which is one of Toronto's top omakase restaurants. And downstairs there's also um, the bar. There's two bars in here. So, oh. This is the main hall, and then on the other side there's the beer hall. And Nut Bar and Tokyo Smoke are coffee and like wellness kind of spots. You can literally cater to any diet here. Yes, and it's the perfect place to go. Like if you guys are fighting over what you want to eat, just go to the hall. You can you can both get something then. Marriage problem solved. Yeah. <laughs> My first impression is this place is amazing. There's tons of stuff to choose from and all the people working at the restaurants are really knowledgeable and nice and friendly and they're excited to talk about their products and excited for you to try it. And a lot of them are like best, best in Toronto, best, like she, she just said, best turmeric latte and everyone says that they're the best so I'm really excited. There must be a reason they say that so it must be really good. So Melissa said she's gonna prepare us some of her favorite dishes for us to try. She's so nice. I didn't expect her to be this nice. She even gave me a little gift. Thank you so much. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Thank you. <laughs> These forks are all combustible. So they're compostable, I mean, not combustible. The weirdest thing just happened. Melissa just told me that she's from Beesville and um, she knows my dad because he always went into McDonald's and my dad told me there was this one girl that would always give him extra fries and made him so happy because she watched my videos and then I was like, are you the girl that gave my dad extra fries? And she was like, I am. So it's just such a weird turn of events that now she's living in Toronto and then she reached out to me and there was something about her. I was like, oh, this girl seems really sweet. I want to meet up with her. But we like somehow were connected before. Grew up in towns next to each other and she, she knew my dad. He was a regular customer. <laughs> I'd love to eat this every day for lunch. Yeah, it tastes super healthy. Ooh, I love the crunch of these. I don't know what these are. These little, they're like clear noodle things, but they're not noodles, they're crunchy. So good. So you try to keep it as lightly dressed as possible because you can always add. You it's can't actually, take away, but you can add. Yeah, it's perfect this way, I think. Yeah. Because all the vegetables are really tasty and good. Like, it's good quality. Yeah. Uh, actually, they buy all of their ingredients from Fresh Markets in Kensington. Oh! Wow. <laughs> that so, looks... Tachi, Tachi doesn't usually do this because they're really strict with just the um, stand-up sushi bar, but... Yeah. <laughs> the chef just brought us out some sushi. Got some salmon, scallop, and tuna. Our favorite, actually. So big. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Wow. I read about this dish online. It's very famous. I feel like we're on one of those um, 
chef shows where each chef brings their dish to the table and we sample it and rate it. The hall is great because everyone's kind of like family in here. Oh my god, I can feel it. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Thanks, chef. This is a vegetarian miso. Mm -hmm. So like I said earlier, we tried really hard to develop a dish that was perfect for vegetarians. Yep. Um, it doesn't lack in anything like a lot of vegetarian ramens do. And this one is our signature spicy red miso. Our main location is one of the busiest ramen places in Toronto. Like you'll go there at peak time, you can wait up to two hours for a table. They don't take reservations. And this is the best seller there. Wow. What do you think? So be so rich. Mm. It's like everything. Mm. It's really authentic. Mm -hmm. yeah, I can taste Japanese now. Mm -hmm. Japanese style. Mm -hmm. You finally, you've been on the search for authentic ramen. Yeah. But, but this not, one's this one's not the traditional pork one though. This is their famous version. Yeah. It's not that spicy though. Just like a tiny bit of spicy. Too much because I will be dessert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need it's so good. I haven't okay. been able to find good sushi here. Because living in Japan for so long, we're really like specific. Pukake, right? Oh, and this is our fresh ginger ale. Oh, yeah. We make it from scratch. <laughs> That's why I didn't eat breakfast, I just came here. Yeah, I ate breakfast and ate lunch. <laughs> yeah, this is everything. Um, we are all huge fans of the kale Caesar. Kale Caesar. Is yeah. that this one? Yes, it's vegan. They actually use sunflower seeds to make the dressing. Oh my god. That is the juiciest chicken I've ever had. And there's so many flavors because of the kimchi and this. Like this charred outside crispiness, juicy, moist inside. So many flavors with the kimchi. So good. Met very well. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't expect that. place if you're in Toronto. The city hall's right there and the Christmas market. Uh, what's that called? Something Phillips Square over there. So if you're checking out that area, just go over there and it's there. I'm trying to get to our car fast. My jeans are so tight now though. <laughs> These are so pretty. Where are we? Little park here. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're shops. Oh yeah, they're little offices. Those are so cute. I love all the different buildings here, like these old factory looking buildings and then these new sky rises and then you got these little elegant buildings. So cute. Yeah. Just got back home. That was such a nice afternoon. I'm gonna link Melissa 
below her Instagram if you're ever in Toronto or you want to know good places to eat or pretty much anything. She knows a lot about everything in this city. You can hit her up and send her a message. She's really, really nice. Um, and now we are going to clean up a bit, pick up some deliveries downstairs, put everything, put them away. Oh, I just got this big box of iHerb stuff, which I won't order from again because in Canada you have to pay the biggest tax ever when it arrives. I didn't know that. In Hong Kong we don't have these taxes. So it's definitely worth it there, but here you're better off to just go to a shop. Ugh. Oh no. I'm gonna arrange my stuff and then I'll show you guys what I got. All right, this is this is everything I got on iHerb. I got a lot of different tea flavors and some honey to go in the tea. These ones too. These ones sort of fell apart and some of them got wet, so I saved a few. And then some natural cleaning supplies. This is stain remover. This is fabric softener, this is floor cleaner, this is also to brighten laundry and also for the laundry. These are biodegradable, non-toxic, hypoallergenic, non-GMO, septic safe, all the good stuff. I'm trying to have less chemicals in my life, so this is, this is a big source. <laughs> I'm gonna try and go more natural. Some oatmeal stuff, maca powder, the Vega one, Vega one, I like the shake. Liquid aminos, I like to use this instead of soy sauce. The not chicken broth, collagen, ghee. And then these are some bath stuff. I really like this bath powder. These are bath salts, dry brush, and moisturizer. And then Melissa also gave us this. This is the cutest name for a candy shop. It's called Squish. Gave me these and elbows on these. So nice of you. Thank you, Melissa. Tom insists to drink bottled water because in Hong Kong they, they either drink bottled or boiled tap water. They never just drink it straight from the tap. So when you go to restaurants and you ask for water, it's always going to be hot water because that's what they have with food for digestion reasons. Anyways, he thinks tap water tastes bad. So I want to do it. With that Brita filter, to me, it tastes just like that Evian. So I want to do three cups and see if you can guess which one is Evian and which one is Tap. Okay, it's in there. By the look of it, can you tell the difference? I guess. So no difference. This one is not... So clear. This one. Okay. Tap water. Now try. So we have tap water and filter water and then Evian. The tap water is the filtered water. These two are filtered water, this one Evian. Which one tastes the best? This one. <laughs> this is Evian. <laughs> This is Evian too though, you got that one right. This is the only filtered. But these two tasted the same to you. Yeah, this one. Then I'm half white. I know this is tap water for sure. I can't taste that much different. To me, this still tastes pure and clean and really good. See, it's not that bad, right? Not that bad. Body. Good night. <laughs> All right, it's bedtime again. Tomorrow we're getting a big delivery of our furniture. I'll finally have a off proper like office desk and chair so I can edit comfortably with better posture because right now I just sit on those stools and I'm very hunched over because the stool is quite high. And yeah, oh, my posture is getting worse and worse. I need to work on that. I keep saying that, but I'm not. <laughs> yeah, so we're getting some lights so this place can get a little bit brighter and office desk and yeah stuff like that you'll see and What else? I guess you'll see tomorrow. I don't need to tell you every night what I'm gonna do tomorrow and then tell you again the next day I don't really have a plan though, so I don't know. Let's see This week is kind of busy because it's my birthday 
So that's gonna be on Friday. And then my sisters, actually my sisters and brothers are all coming down and staying over on the weekend. So the weekend's gonna be busy and crazy and I really wanna get the house prepared before that. It's stocked with food and all that good stuff. Um, man, Christmas is gonna be here before we know it. After this weekend, which is gonna come really fast and go by really fast with all of that going on. Then it's just basically like one more week till Christmas. I really need to get my Christmas shopping done. Um, and I also really want my grandparents to make it out here so they can see this place. They live like two hours away with no traffic. So that is going to be a bit difficult. Let's see. Those are my two goals in the next two weeks. Get my grandparents out here and uh, get my Christmas shopping done. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really enjoy getting out and seeing a new place and meeting someone new. Yeah, I have to say all you guys have been giving really great recommendations and you're all so nice here. I've met so many of you on the street and it's always really nice talking to you. We have a good conversation and you know, yeah, I just feel super welcomed here. It's really good to be back in my home country. But I also still love Hong Kong too, so yeah, I'm lucky that I can be in both places. I don't need to choose because I love being in Asia. I still love visiting Japan. There's like little parts of me everywhere. Anyways, I need to stop talking because I'm just getting delirious now. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Good night.